what I don't want for you is to get part way through the year or even till the end of the year and suddenly realize that all that's happened is that you've just experienced another Groundhog Day for 365 days. That's not what I want. I want for you to feel at the end that you've accomplished something, you've created the change that you want and that you've moved forward. Because believe me, I've been there. It's very easy to have great ideas and great plans and then just slip off of that wagon and just go back to your old behaviors or your old habits and then nothing changes. So avoiding Groundhog Day means being intentional with your day to day. And what I'm inviting you to do today is to slow down, slow down and ask yourself, what do you really want? What is it that you really, really want in your life? What is it that you want to change, that you want to improve, that you want to, to be different or better? Examples include health and fitness. So why do you want to improve or change your health, your fitness levels? It's really important to understand your why. But before you even get to the why, what is it you actually want around health and fitness? Get really clear on that. What is that change that you want going to look like? How are you going to feel when you've achieved that, that goal? And what will you be saying to yourself? This is where goal setting or setting intentions, being intentional, goes a level deeper than smart goals. This is about actually looking at what is it do I really, what is it that I really want? And really almost visualizing, experiencing what that end result will be like, what it will look like, what you'll be saying to yourself, what will you feel when you've accomplished that? 